test. Thanks. Uh, I, I'm, I have some stuff I have a license to, so. Okay, let's load up my work profile.
give us give us some light. Look, can, see, this shows my room lighting. It's kind of crappy. Not gonna lie. Live C920. Why is it invisible? There we go. No, we can't put it actually on the ground. Audio, audio, hold on, hold on. Um, hold on. Yes. Can you end it? Okay. Search for live. Show the camera. Show the camera. And unmute it. No unmute. It enables the default. But also, I just only do my code window, so it doesn't really matter. Are you doing the whole like the whole screen? Why? You should turn off full screen. I mean that's like okay. It doesn't care what's like anyway. I don't really I don't know. It works fine on Linux, so Let's do this on my phone, it's not what time should this be set for? Let's just do 4 p.m. Okay, okay. Also, also, I should change, I should change my, my camera, camera size, size to 1440. Uh, Sorry, dumb. dumb. It's, it's the cell tower. tower. Does my mic sound good now? What? Does my mic sound good? Yeah, it sounds decent. On Discord, at least. Check, check. This is a test of my audio. And this is the other test. Okay, okay. Can I press the audio hold it? Hold it. Monitor shows. Um. How do I files? Videos. Testing, testing, thank you. Uh, Nine, transform, edit, transform. Six, hey, that's much better. better. Okay, okay, should I start? start? Uh, yeah, you can start. I made myself a little purple border around the thing, around my camera, just because it looks cool. Yeah, so it actually looks decent. Um, I 
Shut, shut up. up. Starting, Starting in three, three two, two, one. one. Hello, Hello you kids. kids. You are doing coding again. again. Uh, I'm waiting for my head. Back up to the only reason I did that. Okay. Um. Hello, you kids. You are doing coding again. Hello, you kids. You are doing coding again. Uh, I'm waiting for my head. Back up to the only reason I did that. Okay. Um. Let's see. Hello, YouTube. Um. Oh. Damn it. Um, let's see if you can hear me. Can you hear me, Gideon? Uh, let me see if I can hear. I need to monitor the screen. Hello. Can you hear me? Alright, say wait. Uh, I'm gonna load up the stream on my phone. Uh, can you hear me? Alright, say wait. Uh, I'm gonna load up the stream on my phone. I don't know. Uh, six microbes? Wait, wait, uh, I'm gonna load up the stream on my phone. I don't know, uh, six microbes? Can you hear me? Alright, say, wait, uh, I'm gonna load up the stream on my phone. I don't know, uh, six microbes? Can you hear me? Alright, say, wait, uh... Uh, stream? What do you want? Hello? Testing. Hello. Hello. Um, I am going to start coding. Working in the same project but different code because I do the back end, he doesn't know the front end. Yeah. This other skill sets are. Yeah, instead, instead of learning a new skill, skill like a same, same person, person, we're just going to use the skills yeah. that we have. Here, I'm because go that is. Real quick. Of course, course he is. He is. Shut up. Also, because I'm recording the day for once, the, the green screen, screen looks, looks decent. decent. And my hand looks kind of stupid, 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 but the green, the green screen works. Uh, isn't uh, isn't that what's important in life? And, and using, using a high bit rate, which shouldn't matter for this, but I mean, if it looks better, then it looks better. And I can like do stuff like resize my face to be super big. Like if you want to see lots of my face, which you don't, you can do that. And that's good. Okay, coding time. What are they working on? What? I'm gonna look at what I was doing. I haven't fixed my web browser. I don't think, by the way. So sorry. All right, here I'm gonna try open your stream on my browser, but can't mute it. All right, I don't have yours open because uh, well, I probably should have yours open. All right. Oh, well, that's a different video. Mute. All right, let's let you reopen in container. Oh yeah, your green screen looks good. Okay, good. Yeah. See. All right. Oh, you have a different theme for your VS Code. Yeah. Mine's less dark and more like grayish. Yeah. All right. Cool. Cool. All right. Let's start coding for real this time. Yep. Okay. Um. So, have you pushed anything since last time? Uh, no, I haven't pushed anything. Okay. Let's see the video. Uh, I just opened the web browser a second ago. Here, I'm, 
I actually gotta get the actual re repo on this computer. Uh, um, I probably should cover Discord. Let's put it on this side. Why can't it connect to Discord? Okay. Discord um, 127.001. Gero, can you hear me well on so, the stream? I can hear you perfectly fine. Or on your side? Hold on. Yeah, I can hear you. Right, and your compressor sounds very good, by the way. Your mic sounds very good. Yeah, thanks. Turn you down because you're a bit loud, uh, but that should be good. Alright, good. I have mine set so that when if it gets too loud, it should turn my should turn me down a little bit. We have to do extreme. Alright. Zero drop frames. Let's go. So my my Minecraft is fishing. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, stream. If you hear any background noise, it's because coin and day comes the side effect of people being in the house. All right. Well, it's very unfortunate. I am set up and ready to go. All right. So let's just test what I had from the last time. So going to the main site fails because there's nothing there. All right. I'm gonna get my tea real quick. So let's first start adding a default case. So for default case right now, I'm just gonna make a page that look at camera. I'm just gonna make a page that just sends back some information, like hello world, and it was gonna it's gonna pull CSS and it's going to. That's basically all it's gonna do, honestly. So simply just go into here, and you add case um, this blank. Uh, how case statement works talking if statement, but it's slightly cleaner and it's what you're supposed to use in going according to the style guide, which is good. Um, I'll see the guy in chat is gone right now, by the way. He'll be back soon, probably. So we're going to http.sir file. All right. Um, so today I am going to be working on making the buttons more or less easily understandable. He's working on video chat, which is not, it's technically a separate project, but it gets merged in with this one pretty often, so. Yeah. New file index.html. Let's just copy some code from somewhere else, because I'm lazy. Okay. Also, if anyone the music, um, it's just some stuff I have a license to. Oh. So. I got my own pretty cheap music because I'm poor. <sighs> it says the riches one in chat. Yeah, oh, shut up. So, we're just going to fill in some stuff here. Okay. Disable. So, you don't need a form on the home page. Right now, the buttons are extremely difficult to understand, like local video and remote video and all that. And I'm, I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna work on making it simpler. Yeah. All right, all right. So let's just reload the code and go to the main page. And now we have a hello. See, it's saying hello to me. Enter you too. Hello. Cause it's nice like that. Right. <laughs> camera's over here. It's nice like that. Sorry, the camera's over there, and the like, and the OBS is on that way. Mm. So if we look this way and we menu look up there, it just distracting. I put on a noise suppressor Sorry, filter so it sound should sound a little bit better. Good. Only in your end, though, not on my end. <laughs> That sounds like shit. Now where am I? <laughs> Get really careful with those because they tend to make you sound kind of like a robot. Okay, well I removed it. No filters. No, no filter, gang. Um. Man, you'd be terrible on Instagram. <laughs> Hold on. Okay. 
So I'm gonna make a sign in and a sign up button. A tags, anchor tags. You know what? Should I just display my whole screen? Because I also have Chrome open. Um, you can to be very careful with your open. Yeah, yeah. Let me make sure there's nothing incriminating open. Uh, no, nothing incriminating. Yep, alright, everything see. should be good. Good. Visual Studio Code, okay. display capture. Reload the page. Alright, guys. I like that. Page breaks after. There's a V right before disable video. Okay. There you go. Now the website has Hello World Sign and Sign Up. Alright. And all the pages will go to correct pages. Where is that V coming from? I can sign in. It takes time to compute the key, so V. We're using a secure algorithm. I could change the algorithm to be slightly faster, but then you lose security. Yeah. So it's a compromise. Yeah. But luckily, just one number I have to change and it does it all for me. So if I want to tune it, it's very easy. This is taking a long time, actually. I should probably adjust the number. I hate this so much. Because some random letter V appeared. If I put this in here. Every time live server so okay now the button just doesn't exist what is going on that's a good question why do they change the name of this oh, oh okay we uh, disabled Hey, I changed the stream title. So why does okay. the V is still there? What? What if I are you okay? Um, no. What are you dealing with? I don't. Con There's just a random V that appeared, and I hate it. Where? Hold on. Can you show it to me? I'm looking at your sir. I'm looking at your stream. Yep. Uh, right next to the disabled video button, that black V. Is it showing up on stream? Yep, you see that V right there? Oh wow, that is really annoying. And like, it- I would not have seen that. It's not in the code. Try doing a control shift R. In, in your- on the web browser, you control shift R. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Hmm. Uh, yeah, that's whack. I don't, know, I don't know what to say to you, man. <laughs> I'm trying to just completely restart the live server. Try opening up uh, Inspect Element and finding it. Inspect. Uh, anyway, while I'm here, on oh, the other guy's stream, I should probably tag your stream. What? Um, share. Video. Um, the guy's stream will be in, in the in the description. So if you want to know what okay. I'm talking about. So for the remote video three. Oh, yeah, I'll link uh, Gideon's stream in the description. Is it in the style sheet? I didn't check the style sheet. Remote video 2, remote video 1, remote video. Okay, so it works for four players. Uh, four video people can now video on there. Four players. Uh, be quiet. <laughs> what the? Yeah. Where is this? Um, so unfortunately, there's no admin page yet. How do I? Now, could I fix this? Yes, but that's gonna be later. Is it hosting the wrong thing? I am so confused. The... Oh! 
I found it. Ladies and gentlemen. I did it, I found it. Problem solved. Congratulations. Um, Alright, so I'm going to delete from user. Now my user does not exist. Alright, here's what I'm going to do. I am going to go put this on my uh, regular uh, GitHub page. Oopsie, 1412 slash vchat. And... Question, do you say 14112 or, or do you do 1412? I say 1412. Okay. What do you say? I was just saying 1412, so. Mm. It used to be 2460. And then someone decided to buy Nitro. I still have Nitro. Do I still have Nitro? Uh, That's because you bought Nitro again, but if for a while you didn't. Let me make sure there is nothing incrimination here. I see. Gee, if only you could specify which window to show. Anyway, so it did compute the key. Uh, I think it cut up on stream a little bit, but you can see right here found the key, which is good. You, and that is good news. That means it worked, but it took a long time. Everything is back. That's partially because I'm streaming, and streaming is very parcel intensive. But also, that took a lot longer than it should. So I adjusted the decrypt cost to twelve. What that means is that it will do three less rounds than four. It's slightly less secure, but with our salt and pepper, it should be more than fine. Um, push to GitHub. That was loud. Can I mute Google Hangouts, please? I almost got deafened. My FedEx delivery just catches the 425. Is that sooner or later? Hey, Google. What day of the week is April 25th? Friday. Saturday. 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 Saturday? Okay, and it's Saturday. Well, that's good then, because it's supposed to be Monday before. Yeah. It's offshore. <laughs> Members length is two. Thanks, Google. I think it's because the, the connection that thing's on, the, the, the IoT network is really weak in this corner. The house. Hmm. The other hand works perfectly fine, but of course not the one I care about. <laughs> anyway. Um so I need to set up um I need to sign in again, right? So I'm going to restart the code. Then I will go into web browser. Uh, let me make sure nothing incriminating. Oh crap, don't do that. There you go. Go to sign up. So the sign up page, which... Let me see if I can make it so you can see it. Hold on. Uh, properties. Not a terminal, please. Um... Nope, doesn't work. Alright, you guys should be back now. Okay. Oh, sorry guys, um, Firefox doesn't like to show itself in OBS, but... You have to trust that I'm here. Wow, that's hot. <laughs> so the hot. username you set in can be whatever you want. And the password can be whatever you want. Um, I, I removed all of the password length checking stuff because it was kind of annoying. At least, like, the checking how many arguments it has. Uh, well, let me try something here. Is it get, wait, it's finishing. is GitHub pages github.io or github.com? It's, 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 it's dot .io. You said a malformed URL. Wait, no, that's good. That worked, I think. Uh, Remember, every 
time you compute the key takes up to 46, uh, up to 52 times longer than it normally would because of tuckering. Mm -hmm. It just added security benefit for us. Why? And it takes a little longer, but it's worth it for us. So, we, we, we believe. We believe, yes. I believe. I believe it's good for security. Even if it's a bit overkill and not necessarily a standard practice. So now I test sign in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. No, wait, so I found it earlier. Does not redirecting properly. Oh, it's probably my H my crap HTML. Uh, oh. Yeah, that's what it says. Okay, so it finds it faster. It's just that my HTML is sorry, my uh, code doesn't redirect when it's done. It's so like login handler. Once it's done with this, it should um, HTTP dot redirect. So I just add that there. Uh, Do the same for sign up handler. Oh, I know what. Here, I'm gonna disable my camera real quick. Sorry about this. Now, if I try signing in, it'll redirect me. Maybe. Where does it say found a key? What the? It's very hard to do this with a uh, a webcam because the video chat only one thing can use a camera at a time. Uh huh. Oh yeah, I guess so. So whenever I maybe just plug in a second webcam, like get a test webcam or something. Yeah, I guess so. All right, here I'll 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 figure something out later. Uh... You see, kids, what I forgot to do was to clear my cookies, which is an issue. Yes. So now I create cookies, which means it will not have my session anymore. Ooh, now a new well, session add the camera session and table. Like zoomed really nicely. <sighs> All right, I don't like that. Okay, sorry guys for the mild interruption. All right. Anyway, now that I set up um. So it doesn't redirect still, which is kind of frustrating. Is it 307? Hello, do I have to redirect the webcam please? to the top of my computer like a normal person? It's a good idea. No, because then the light blows everything out. How do you have all these problems that no one else has? Shut up. Uh. It's interesting, I'm doing a redirect here, it still doesn't redirect me. Oh! Do I do redirect up here? I might actually. Okay. We should be good what? now. Let me see. Go to yep. def. Okay. Very end, do you do something? Oh, uh, now I have to Why is something all my going to JSON? Keybinds. Uh, hide C920. Show C920 plus. Oh man, he's gone. He's gone, gone, gone for a second. This this guy. Anyway, running, working on the same project, but not the same piece of code. And all data is being stored in the Postgres database because well, that's what I know. Then I, I know that in MySQL and a little bit of Firebase, but Firebase is really expensive. And useless. 
and I'm, and I'm not paying for it. <laughs> I'm really paying for it. I want it to be a sequel. Let's face it. I don't want some JSON All right. back end thing. Great, it works good. Documents and collections, it's stupid. Oh, you even entire like, chat on there. That's not great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you have your Discord and stream? Uh, my Discord's fine. It's just Taiha types. It's not. This is. Whatever. It's not a private Discord. Speaking of not private Discords, you can join my Minecraft server Discord. Christ. By... He's plugging. He's plugging. <laughs> Add. Add. Spawned. Brought to you by LCMC. Anyway, I never said the IP, so we're good. That's true. Okay, coding. Uh, mine coding. Yes. All right. Where does it say? Time to grab another computer. Okay, so you. This is my laptop. This. Say hi to uh, Alexa. I'm not a log out button. I have a log out button. Let's log out. So now log me out. Um, Gideon, four person video should be good now. Uh, I will just go and make sure with. Like two up at the thing. Cool. Okay, why does this not work? Here, I'll be back. I'm gonna go grab another webcam and see you in a bit. Go to your definition. Oh, here's the issue. What does it do if... There you go. This is just because it well, it's a copy from another code base, and so... It gets kind of wonky sometimes. That's okay. We can deal with it. Let's add a sign up button. To index HTML. I'm gonna sign out, and this will simply go to sign out. So we load the page. Well, don't do that, please. Sure, we send. There you go. Sign out. There's a sign out button. You press sign in. You have last pass to fill in your creds, press sign in, it's a new session, <sighs> now if this were to be deployed into a School environment, we probably don't want a sign in button or sign up button, but we can do that later using like creds and stuff and make sure people can do that in that directory. And oh, I don't do that directory, I don't want that. Okay. Now, oh, it's just we found a session. And this should be session on in the database. You can see all this code. This code actually is kind of decent. It's not great, but. 
basically you have a giant collection of a lot of characters, and it picks randomly 128 times out of characters. And then it will run. Okay, so I wasn't storing user before. I should also receive a user data token. That would be really handy, but I'm not going to do that because I'm lazy. But, and this redirect is still not working. So, I don't know why it's sending me JSON data. It is. I mean, in chat, you, you can see this. I don't know why this happening. But it doesn't cause problems, I don't care. Jeez, out loud. Please mute. Can I mute you? Do you, do you want to disturb? Hmm. Can I do you not disturb this thing? Preferences? Nope. It doesn't matter that nothing deal with it. So if not okay, then it returns an issue, which is not r really what I want, but it'll be fine. No, it's not storing the user in the... I don't think it was anyways. Let me check. Looks everything from sessions. Yeah, so username is not being stored. So that's no good. Okay, well, I am back. Hello, nice. uh, good people Hello. of the internet. How do you do today? Congratulations on leaving. Sorry if you hear any background noise. That's, there's people in the house, if you know what I mean. Um, I'm actually about to set up a mini green hmm. screen type thing. Oh, God. Shut up. You want to break me with a real green screen? What? You want to break me with a real green screen? No, I found like a massive swath of green fabric. Maybe the worst thing is honestly what? a piece of the cheapest green fabric China could make and then put on some cheap aluminum. Yeah. So I'll see, I'm using my clapper cup cream mug. Oh, me too! This is a very niche joke that very few people No understand. one watching will understand. get it, but I got clapped by Cleckley. He got the joke. There you go. The tea inside is hot, but... It's actually a, a really good mug, like, mm -hmm. overall. And it's if you turn it the other way on stream, you don't get, like, copy... You don't get copyrighted or whatever. By you? Alright, here. One second. I mean... <laughs> All right, that's good. Let's get focused. That's what coffee's uh, tea supposed to do. Let's see how this looks. I am going okay. to. Okay, there's no way I can put up the green fabric, but I have a massive piece of cardboard. So login handler. That's no good. Um. Right. This is over really here. So new. It should. I had a key. Insert new session. So what's that over here? Insert new session insert into. So it adds. So token expiration and username. So it should be. Oh. Username. 
That's what the issue is, probably. It's weird. So let me just redo up the code. Slash logout. I'm stealing my webcam. Then go to login. Sign in. One second there. Right, I think it's signed in. I think this is the web page is being slow. So select from sessions and now we have a user. So now if I go back to here, I can um push no commit. Um let's see um User is now added to debate for each session. Then you just push. And now, if I go to the getter page, we can close the issue. Fixed in newest comment. Closing comments. Good job, Elsie has the giant tunnel of of OBSs. <clears throat> I think he's, I think maybe AFK. Or some more key. Oh. Right. Ow, it's hot. <laughs> All right, back to coding. If you're wondering why I use FCGI instead of just a normal proxy, instead of just sorry, just listing and serving on, well, like like you know, like normally would, because this allows me to use a load balancer much more effectively. Which is good for if we want to spin this up to many things. Which we hopefully will eventually. Hopefully. The best part of this is all open source, so if someone wants to do it better than us, they can just take our code and do it better. And we don't care. That much. All right. So let's work on this um password thing. I need to work on what on how regular sessions work. Hmm. 
You and I can do multiple multiples instead of doing this in all kid way. Just make it simple. Make it dead simple. So has has capital regex dot match string. So we use back ticks because it's a raw string. So it has to have at least one capital letter, so A through Z, capital. And the string is password. If we were being a little bit more secure, we would handle the password in, we would try to avoid it in memory or do it in more secure memory, but that's beyond the scope of the application. And honestly, if someone's going that in depth into your software, you're kind of already screwed. So we're going to as capital number symbol and in length. What do you can do length in, in line? Uh, ooh, geez, don't do that, please. Uh, please put this on the side. There you go. So delete that. Don't define error down here. This is ha has um number, and this is has symbol. I'll define it a little bit regular questions later. This um, I don't want to do that right now. Sometimes we can do error checking for all of these. I'm lazy, and so and doesn't in theory errors for one error for all three, but it shouldn't error fatally. So hope that works well. They handle the function, will send back an HTTP error, which allows me to, um, which would also let you pass through an error, like an error message to say what to do. This may be a bit more standardized, which is nice. I could make a templating function later, so. So if has capital and has number and has symbol and length of password is greater than or equal to eight, then or this will be not. Put a giant explosion point in front of that. Then error handler um, password must be longer than eight characters and have at least one symbol. One number and one capital letter. Mm 
capitalize that properly. Shut up all the errors. Yep, fine, I'll be error checking all three times. Jeez. Going, man. It's great, but the explicit error checking is kind of annoying sometimes. What is Alice doing with the cardboard? Anyway, this sh we should be able to deal with this. Okay. So it has a number. Let's go to regex101.com because we can. It gives me all the stuff I need. So this is going to be this backslash D. And this one is going to be. A symbol. Any non word character. Okay. That seems fine. So I might count spaces, but. Oh well. Anyway, so I'm looking at the guy stream who I'm in the call with, and I'm just getting more and more confused with him. Let me adjust my webcam ever, ooh, ever so much, I believe. Oh, my face is getting wetter now. It's fine. I should actually pull it back a little. Lighting, I think. Yeah. I'll see. This one's your business. He's doing this thing live. I'll see. Why are you doing it this way? I don't know why you like this. Anyway, you can ignore him. Um, Alright, so now we check for symbols, length, capital, and numbers. Which is basically what we care about. Yeah, it's basically gonna figure it out. I should deal with it, but I don't feel like it. Hmm. Alright, next up, um, okay, I'm gonna cancel this out, then I'm just gonna, oh, that's the wrong window. Um, I'm going to delete my user again, and this time when I try to sign up with my password, let's go log out. Okay, now let's try signing up. With my old credentials, it should fail. If it fails, then it works. It's weird how that works, I know, but you want to test for an error case. There you go. See? Here, you know, let me put this up so you can see it. You see at the very bottom, HTTP error 400, what do you, error message, password must be long in eight characters, and have at least one symbol, one number, and one capital letter. 
Yes. That means I need to change my password and last pass so it will autofill a better password. Let's do A, B, C, D. One, two, three, four. Let's do a change points. I'm not checking for common passwords. In a later version, I might do that, but just check it against a list of passwords, common passwords. But for now, this should be good enough for our purposes. I can't hear you. Can. If I said I can't hear you after you responded, that would probably mean I could hear you. You know you're streaming the whole time, right? Okay. I just want to make sure you knew that. I've been watching the whole time. I haven't been open. Uh, yeah, you have two watching now. It's interesting. I have two, but one of them's probably one of my parents, so. Oh, the life of living with family. Even though when I sign up, doesn't redirect properly. Sign up handler. Redirects. Ta -da. And if I uh, yeah, keep on for that. There you go. So it goes down here. It's just a hash. It stores it in database, and then it should just. Oh, this is the issue. Don't do that, please. I have grabbed my second computer. You guys sadly cannot see it, but one thing you can see is my beautiful face. Oh God. The green fabric didn't work, but um. Didn't take a genius to figure that out. It is green. It's just so light green that it matches with my skin. It's not like being. This isn't like a race thing. This is like a. But this, having white skin just makes it harder to stream. I mean, at least yeah. as far as like green screening that is. As far as the rest of the stuff I'm not gonna get into, but as as far as having a green screen and having a, like a white face makes it very difficult. Mm -hmm. Well, anyway. Now we have something that will take your Let's data. See. I'm gonna switch to right back for the camera to stop working. Save it. It's interesting. Of all the the lengths of of your rally, you might have zero because there won't be any slash. You might have two, but you'll never have one. Because most browsers will automatically remove the trailing slash in an empty URL. That's something to keep in mind. Why is this not? Send me back. So it should do that. I don't know why it's not. Well, it got something from cash. Huh. Interesting. Let's delete the users again. And load everything in. And try again. So check key checks for. Well, I want to go to definition on that. Oh, hmm. Okay, so actually doing what I'm doing now is completely safe. 
Good. Okay, so I'm just gonna push commit all and well, yep, yeah, you can just commit everything. Let's see, added um added password security checks. Should probably compare against common passwords as well. You can push. And now, time to look into Docker. So, this is what I'm less, less, I'm less, less, less familiar with. So, this is when I get to do some. Fancy stuff. Okay. So here's what hey, we're Dennis. gonna do now. I am going to. There's one camera. I'm gonna remove this camera for a second. Sorry, guys. How do I, how do, I do this? Okay. So we're going to make a Docker file. As you can see, um, VS Code has injected his Docker file and filled in all, and you know, started making it for me. I actually should probably make sure I get the right version. So, uh, Docker going. What version going am I running? Going dash v. The go dash v. Now let's open it in third. Third browser. version. Um. There you go. One thirteen point five. Best practice is to make sure that you pull the right version so you don't okay. cause problems. Because if you pull the same version, so if the different version changes slash something, you don't you know get yourself screwed. A nine nine six B C one dot thirteen dot five. That's what I'm using. Um oh slash hashtag, what's that? Hello. Hashtag. Sorry, guys. Okay, so I can just. Oh, that's not it. I should just be able to put in 1.13.5 and it should work. 1.13.5. Alright, let's see. Pass. Folder Brackets. from um, Oopsie. pass folder from home directory to no, sorry, pass from Hashtag. host to Docker container. Um, the best, um, oh, apparently Google has a Google Doodle, uh, B, it's like B day or something. It's about, I would call it a learning experience. Get in. Yes. Did you see today's Google Doodle? I don't use Google search engine. No, I didn't. Uh, wait, can you, can you join my, uh, video chat that put the thing in the DM view on Discord? Sure, can you post it? There you go. Doink, I have an extra webcam I can plug in. Hmm. Or an invite just work, actually. Can I use this same camera multiple times? Can um, I pressed go and it didn't... It, I pressed accept permissions and I'm not in the call. Let's see. Alright, okay, anyways. Hmm. Well, time to get my third computer. Okay, how do I do this? So, how do I put this in? 
a Docker file. No, I'll deal with that later. Maybe? Hey there, kids. Okay. Let's just, let's just follow the tutorial for now. Okay, let's see. Open up Chrome. No, this is stupid handoff or retarded. Um, Alright, so. So you're making a directory, so go SRC, um, better BB, better BB. This one. Then I and do a copy. Refresh the whole thing. Download third party dependencies. What I should probably do, instead of hosting the files locally, I should. Wait, am I even hosting files? Oh, I'm gonna use another project, I think. Hold on. Let me just see my config file. No, I'm not actually. Well, let's start a new one. Okay, in that case, I don't even one deal with that. CBC one CBC or two. One CBC. go wrapper. So, uh, maybe it's work. So, we're just going to okay. expose port 9001. So the auto work access application. This actually should be nginx. Cause load balancers. That is sad. It's only displaying two video screens. Let's see if I can uh, fix that one. Uh, I mean, I should be able to. It's not that difficult. I don't see. Wait. Are all you only machines on the same network, right? Yeah. Try changing one of them to your other network, to one that's on a different, uh, different ISP. Why? Because it might be using stun or turn servers, and if it's a turn server issue, then it might be my issue. It's how this is how WebRTC works. It tries to create them directly, not via the third party server. Uh, well, I'll see. So what is this Go wrapper? Let's try running that as it is. All right. Um. Docker dash. No, Docker build dash rm Let's see. Uh, dash t. No, getting it still doesn't work. Huh. Interesting. So I probably. Oh, I probably need to start. Hmm. What? What is a Docker service called? Okay, what is this? They want me to set up a free account. I'm not doing it. But I don't see it's free. Whoa! They're totally not they're just gonna sell my email and make money off of that. It's... We all know they are. Yeah. 
It's all in Docker stuff. Docker stuff. Oh, I have three concurrent viewers. Hello, new viewer. How are you? Hello, viewer. If you want a higher quality stream tonight. <laughs> Hmm, you only streaming at at ten eighty P. Oh me, yeah, I don't wanna overload everything. I am gonna de completely destroy my entire backdrop. Hello viewer of my stream. I am downloading Docker. It's gonna take a moment. Actually it's going really quickly, so it shouldn't take too long. Um the daemon wasn't running, so... What tea am I drinking? Says chat. Raspberry tea. Ooh, raspberry tea. Maked. Maked Did from raspberry leaves. I don't see that in your chat. Ah, oh, so you're lying about chat. No, wait, what? It said, popped up. What? I didn't see it. <laughs> Can you delete chat messages? Yes. Does it log chat messages? Um, not that one. Uh, does YouTube log chat? Live chat after replay. I mean, probably logs, YouTube probably logs a little bit of it. Okay, well, you know what? When I'm done streaming, I'll look back over. Because I swear, if someone was like, what tea are you drinking? Hello, Docker. Please run. <laughs> creating a symlink, which shouldn't take that right, long. I linked, I linked your stream in the description of mine, by the way. Hot. Your face is half green screen. Yeah, it happens sometimes. You know, the, the, the life of having a white face. Yeah. Okay, so why does it not work on four? We have multiple channels, we have four channels set up. Are you hard coding in channels? Or are you having it sized on its own? No, it can go up to 20 channels. So we already have okay. at least four channels. But so are you but are you hard coding in like like new video streams or does it add new ones? No, it's it's add new one automatically when a new user joins. Okay, good. Because otherwise you'd be in a little world of pain and you ever want to expand. Yeah. Really interesting how they generate like, scrolling page of video streams. Yeah. Well, I lost a I lost a concurrent viewer. I only have one now. Wow, that's that's me. Oh. Um. Okay. I guess my mom got bored. Oh, your mom was watching a stream. Uh -huh. Probably. Mom, you can watch my stream. Google FC Gamer on YouTube. Google FC Streamer on YouTube? FC Gamer. Oh, I should probably change my YouTube username. Google FC Gamer on YouTube. <laughs> yes. What, 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 what happens if you Google that phrase? FC Gamer on YouTube. Epic Games. And then it's my channel. Of course, Epic Games is first. Well, yeah. It's literally, but my channel is the second one. Is Epic Games, is that an ad, or is that just normal search? Normal search. That's interesting. But my channel is second. Not bad. Oh, that goes to last channel. How do I change it to Alec again? My channel, YouTube Studio. Wait, my channel used to be Waffle Boss. Did you know that? I did, because everything you had to do is be Waffle Oh. I dropped my fidget spinner. Whoa. It's funny, the picture on my Pokemon picture is a picture of you. Yeah, I know. It's, uh, thank you. 
It's the only good fish I had on my PC, honestly. Okay, channel name changed, everybody. I'm Alec the Guy on YouTube now. Thanks for watching. Wow. No, I'm not done with this. I wasn't even really focused, but I'm just sitting back in my chair waiting for Docker to. Which is still installing, by the way. Oh, it's finally moving again. Jesus Christ. Uh, I'm gonna turn off my. I'm glad you say incriminating, that's just sketchy. That's not incriminating means. Incriminating means something that would make you a criminal. Your stream key won't make you a criminal. You can broadcast almost anything on a stream key and that's not what's gonna make you a criminal. OPS is using 1.2 gigs of RAM. That's pretty interesting. Do you have any thoughts on that? Hmm, I'm missing some frames because of encoder lag. That's interesting. Sorry, YouTube, I'm just waiting on Docker to install. But it's taking a surprisingly long time. I don't know why either. I'm not running not memory. I'm uh, is my disk being hard? Disk isn't being hit hard. I'm not quite sure what it's doing. So. Playing these videos. Um, yeah. Walk over there, so I just. I don't know why Docker's being so slow. It truly shouldn't be this slow. Get in. I thought I installed Docker, so I'm not sure what this is errorring. Just... I hate JavaScript. Okay, well, let's see if this is going to do anything useful. Uh, we're going to try again. Uh, oh, it's set up some more stuff. 94% downloaded hmm. or progress. Interesting. <sighs> Computers are heavy. These are hot too. This one's been off for a while. It's not that hot. I mean, my PC, because I don't know why, but it's, it's pinned at 100 degrees Celsius CPU. Oof. Oh, that's no good. But it doesn't, it doesn't thermal throttle though. That's what confuses me. Do you just use like the stock cooler or what? Um, no, I have a 240 mil water cooler. Then it shouldn't. What CPU? Uh, i7 6700K. That should because never be pinned at 100 hard. degrees. And that's what I'm saying. At least, well, that's what this thing says. Let me check the um, actual stats from... What should it, uh, uh, it does run kind of hot, but... I mean, it kind of always did. But, mm, but it never should under... Um, this is a good two-core load. Like, this is actually running pretty hot. Okay, it's... The hottest core is at 100. Time and the overall pack is close to like 80 or 90. Uh, bye guys at, who are watching my camera. It's running at like 4.1, 4.2 gigahertz though, so. Hmm. It's confusing why it's sucking so bad, but it kind of is. Okay. 
obviously video chat or F6 video chat. Mac, Mac webcams are, are trash. trash. Oh, make them make it's them called trash. a potato, thank you very much. Yeah, yeah. But not use that word around here. Trash. Trash. Oh. Uh, four. Four. Alt F. <sighs> Oh, that was hot. I get it. I get it. That was loud. These are the one I'm sure. I, I got an email and it almost deafened me. Yeah, why my CPU is running so warm is really confusing to me. Either the sensor's wrong, or like my cooler died, and I just haven't noticed it yet. But it's still, if it's not hot, it shouldn't be running at high, how high temperature is running at, so. Hmm. Hmm. if it's like not going down ever, which is possible. So now Donker's a service, and now I'm just waiting on to finally install. Finish installing. Hey, Gideon. Hey, Gideon. 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 Mm, yes? Should I include text chat? Yes, you should definitely do that. Okay. Well, I think it's something that is built into the Web DC standard. I know. Having video and text chat at the same time. I've actually seen some really interesting implementations of Web DC, like like the Tor project. They have a project called called Snowflake, and it will use a Tor node. So it will use a, a special Snowflake node to send traffic through. Hmm. But it uses Web DC. So it's quite efficient, but they're using it for data, not for like video. It's super weird, but it's really interesting to me. Hmm. Only that it doesn't probably doesn't support uh, turn servers, so it probably won't do not mm, probably won't do not not traversal very well. Yeah. So for like certain applications, it won't be super super helpful, but it will help at least a couple people. Once they implement it into the main project, that's good. Why are you using Apache Conf? Oh, no. Angular or WebRTC. That's, that's just not me. I'm trying to see what other people did. Why are you forking it? Uh, so I can make an environment and run it on GitHub Desktop. Why is that why you're forking? Uh, because it, I, did not, I don't get in chat. I see, you know, there is a thingy code. And now it should say environment. Are you just inflating the number of repositories you have by just forking everyone? No, I don't fork everyone, so these are horrible. I think you have an Amazon Basics um, 
electric hot water kettle? No, I don't. Um, do you? I do. It's on my desk right now. Oh, okay. Um, just... I, I made my mom use the gas kettle, and she was very unhappy. Oh, I don't even have a gas kettle. Wait, do you have a gas or an electric stove? Electric. Well, I don't have a gas stove. I'll see. I don't have a gas stove, it's electric. Hmm. Some people say well, that they like electric better than gas, but I don't know about it. Or sorry, gas is more electric. And having multiple monitors really seems really beneficial for for you right now. What? I'm pushing the denied. What? Why are you pushing the deny? Was oh, that a Docker user? This is me setting up Docker first time. Yeah. I wonder if I what it does when I click follow my Fail. Voice. Seriously, it's build the root. I don't care at this point. Don't follow my page. So what happens? Hmm. All right. Now for Docker to compile. This is me. I've never actually used Docker before, so this is completely new. Hmm. Are you supposed to see turning your webcam on stream? Yeah. Because I have to delete it every time, because for some reason, whenever I just stop showing it, OBS is still using it. Only Windows issues. Keep in mind, I'm also running like an old version of OBS. So. That doesn't seem like it's super hard to fix. Also, they don't update OBS very often. Yeah. I mean, it's great and open source and all, but honestly, it gets updates like once in a millennia. <laughs> um, what did I want to do? Yes, yes, chance. Get this stupid chance. Hmm. Oh. Installing doc doc docker. -er. Hey, it's distracting. No one sees what I'm gonna do next. One MK do that should be the easiest thing you're doing. Go wrapper not found. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, so this is something else. I don't know quite sure what that is all up about. So can this thing explain to you what's happening? What? Docker, um, co wrapper. It's super hot in here. I'm gonna open the window. It's the weather outside. Whoa! That's not bad. Yeah, it is kind of hot. Get out. Okay. Window has been opened. Yeah, I'm gonna send you something. Oh. Over it. I hate 
this. Where is the wrapper? What is this? What is video.io? What is that? Yes, so I basically have that. Nah. <sighs> Found it. Figured it out. <sighs> hmm. Okay, I don't think they're rappers that I want. So I'm just gonna, you know, completely. So, going install required dependencies. I might have to do go modules, which I don't like doing, but if I have to do it, I'll. It is frustrating. Just go install what I want? Go install. Oh, why don't you go find go path? This is why I use Python. Here, I want to see if my AFK fish farm is done or anything. Um, this is a going thing. Ooh. Kind of frustrating, but. Get in. What do you want? Uh, I have a ton of books from my AFK fish farm, by the way. Cool. Uh, for those of you that don't watch my streams, I play Minecraft Everyone. every once in a while. AK like five times a day. Uh, no, on stream. That's Let's face it, you play a lot of Minecraft. Yeah, but not on stream a lot. Why is it stupid? Imagine, ha imagine having, an, having an i9. Imagine having a GTX 980. Hey, we have a Wi-Fi both, both share a 9. Hey. And an 80. Because RTX 2080 and GTX 980. Flex. Shut up. <laughs> Had to. Get again. Yeah. Start listening to signals. What? It is. Did you send me something on signals? No, no, no. It is something I'm calling. Are you okay? Yes. Yes. A function. You call it the start listening to signals function. What function? Start listening to signals. From what? That's what it's called. What are you referring to? Jesus Christ, I hate you. I do too. I'm gonna send go mod in it. Um. 
github.com slash oopsie1412 slash better blackboard. If you're wondering, all the code is in the description. Um, it's, it's on GitHub because collaborating. Okay. Collaborating means friends, things they don't have. Okay. Oops, this actually should be something else. Kubernetes dash Kubernetes backend. Well, I'm just going to remove that here. then. Aren't I? Hello, kids. It's probably something I shouldn't say live. Um, oh well. Slash sessions. Alright. How do I full screen this? Is that better? Uh, it has literally no effect. Lovely. But is that worse? There's equal as bad. Okay, well. I could probably just. Do that. Okay, well. Oh, well, my face is like completely green screened. Wow. It's a little bit black bar now, but I don't care. So. It's gonna stay there. Hmm. Oh, I have 13 subs now. Thank you to whoever subscribed. Um, that was fine, me. Oh, you did? Okay. Great. It's a little while ago, but I did. Okay, so. Great. Go run Kubernetes backend. Let's try. Editing it again. Oh, that's what I thought. Oh, it's so so that's what ran. Is it working? Resend. Find gateway. How do I make it expose like a port? Um, let's move this over a bit. That's the wrong one. Okay. So running end port, how does that work? Wait, I need to start it probably. Go ps dash a. The root just because it's being stupid. Name's friendly underscore McCarthy. How do I change that? Okay. It exited. What? Why? Oh, because it failed. Docker start. Pseudo harvester. sorry. Now if I run again, it failed. It exited five seconds ago. Um uh where is the error? What is it? What does it want? It wants another one. I hate that. Docker run slash p on thousand one to thousand one as v as go src better be b. Uh, 
SD uh, better, maybe. Where do these actually get not found it. Guys have their own little style shooters. Pseudo Docker RM. Um, let's see what they have in the their script JS. And then their tutorial. What does it say? Learning Docker sucks. <laughs> I hate this. With a burning passion. <laughs> One extra. Dash IT. Okay, Gideon, I'm confused. Does this does this sound reasonable at all? Um, the the people they have their tutorial, their little tutorial. Yeah. Um, the code in the tutorial is completely different from their full source code on GitHub. <laughs> oh, it's my favorite. I don't want to do that. I just want to try copy paste their tutorial code, like part of it, and see if it works. Because I think it might work for my issue. But. I, ha I hate this with it. Why did they do this? Oh, with these stupid quotes. Time to do the thing. Slide that over, slide that over. Uh, thank you to... Oh, there's the camera. Thank you to Scale Drone Tutorial. You can check them out. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to do something similar. Or you can just check out our code and see how we did it. Yep. Because it's on GitHub. And it's open source, and it's the actual code that we wrote. And not different from what you do. <laughs> oh, I have var foobar equals false. I love that. Um, uh, uh, that's my favorite variable. Right there, right, uh, foobar. <laughs> Try to delete all of this and see what happens. Docker, let's see, run versus CMD. Is 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 the command the you want to build it? Docker file. Can only have one CMD. Oh, the CMD can written in certain year. Okay. Gideon, do you hate JavaScript? Yes. Me too. With a burning passion. Me too. It's okay. You can hate JavaScript. 
Is the pain in my existence, honestly. Yeah. Let's see if their tutorial thing is actually worth anything, or if it's so stupid it doesn't even work, and that's why they have to change their code in the actual GitHub. Probably the latter. <laughs> I'm gonna, uh, BRB. Alright. Mute. Oh, that's how you mute. That's how you mute. Okay. Wow, nice BRB screen. Mine at least looks nice. Alright, I'm back. Um, Gideon is not back yet, though. So, we are gonna be seeing their tutorials as stupid as it really is. We need four members, actually, just for a call. Viewer do I have? Two concurrent viewers. Hello, second viewer. How are you doing? Uh, welcome to my stream. I'm working on a replacement for Blackboard along with my buddy Gideon, who is currently uh, missing. Uh, okay, now time to add my muting stuff that I put in from the original one. Alright, Ryan back. Thank you for listening to my TED talk. I'm kidding. Doesn't even generate the room hash. What is this? 
It literally doesn't work. Video doesn't work. Yeah, there's there sucks. What can I tell you? Try pushing this and see what, what happens. Oh, I did that on script. I'll see. Get up. Back. Good. 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 Hey, you want to hear something funny? What's that up? thing doesn't work? What doesn't work? The, 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 the little thingy. Your tutorial. Oh, uh, of course it doesn't. It's some crap tutorial. Yeah, but like their actual code on GitHub does work. Nice. This is very interesting. Didn't know why I surprised. Not good enough. Steve is not receiving enough data, but I've seen the data on my end, so I'm not sure where they're going to hmm. And I can see my stats, and that's running completely fine, so. Alright. Um, that can hide itself. Why is this thing complaining? Ba 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 da ba ba go uh, say run go go build Kubernetes backend doc slash slash Kubernetes backend try that you start that. Why is it not rebuilding itself? Bad time. You wanna go to Grammys? When? Favorite. How long do you need? Maybe 25 when I'll be there. You hear that, honestly? In 25 minutes, you'll have enough of my- I'll do it myself. Okay. Oh, your V-Write back screen is trash. Didn't need a doctor to tell you that. <laughs> Alright. 
Why is it just running prickly? Save. Okay, well, updated script.js 30 seconds ago. One environment. Oh, there we go. Of course. So, my internet. Something happened. What? What happened? Why is this? I still don't know why this thing is failing. Keep talking. Making a room hash. Rm dash a. All. Paste in manually. Yeah. How do I do something? How do you do something? Where is Docker build? I don't know how much of a Docker. If if you if the one person who's watching, I don't know much of a Docker. But uh, I'll figure it out soon. Soon later, I'll figure it out. Just give it a hey, minute. Gideon, can I revert the commit? So it's running. Get in. Get up. What's up? How do I revert a commit? You have. To, oh, that's really complicated. Just Google it. Google it, and it'll give you all the instructions. History. Current servers. Oh. Well, so you can rebase and stuff. And okay, why nice do you mean it's really complicated? Good. Well, just copy the commands they gave you. If they give you commands, you can just copy them. It's not matter complicated. No, there's no command. Is that a command? Go build. Command is okay. No, GitHub. Oh. I'm using GitHub Desktop. Okay, that works too. I wouldn't recommend that, but I mean, you can. Nope, not that one. That command. Did GitHub like shoot itself in the head. Can't find module four. Oh, this is the thing I have to do with where you like manually do the thing. I remember this. I need to go to this one. I remember I did this. Sorry, I just remember that I'm an idiot and then remember I figured out how to do it. Somewhere. I don't remember where. Is it here? Nope. Is it here? Find it eventually. There you go. So go to my go mod file. Replace um let's see, replace um uh here we go. Copy, paste, uh, let's see, slash sessions, dot slash sessions. And then I also need to replace this in my code for some reason. It's okay. It'll be okay. It is if I don't forget how to code.
Whoa. It didn't fail. Hold up. Is it running? Bag it wait. Okay. Well, it's better than I was before, so. Um, oh, that's not how you do that. PSSA. All three have exited. What are you caring about? I don't understand this at all. Let's see, Jonker. I'll just. Well, potential security risk. Ooh. Except the risking continue. She do Docker PSH A. Whoa. I have you created something? But it's aired, so. Uh, Docker RM better BB. Nope, it's called test. Just leave all these. Because that's a good thing to do. D8. And then do that again, and then do PSH A. You want you to not be there. How do I do? That? Why did that fail? That's T. Why isn't this T? Using cash. Um, Docker, um, remove cache, maybe? Oh, gosh, there's no cash. Okay, it's more like it. Yeah. That's from a PS-A, and there still is nothing. Uh, oh, wait, I need to do do dark docker start BB, a uh, better BB. No such container, right, because copy the ID. Uh -huh. Container. Ah, uh, T.
something that I take for granted with my other teacup is that it um it's insulated slightly, not much, but it's a little bit, and it really helps with burning your hands if you're an idiot like me. Oh, of course, yeah. Hmm. I mean, if you're like half smart, it's not that difficult, but then you have me. Yeah. Stalker images? Pseudo. Oh. Stalker run better BB. Return to nil. What? Oh, because the config file is in speed. Oh. Docker pass through config. That is weird. Is that your name? Name, nope, not name. Okay, nope, I tried. Works. Um. Let's just comment that out. That's not necessary. The worker. Copy dot slash. Okay, I'm gonna restart my browser. So I'm gonna hide everything. Useless. This run go this one docker build. Oh, it's successfully built. Yay. So you guys can't see the bottom part of my So terminal. this makes no it's sense. That it, the window is a weird weird size. It works on one computer, but it doesn't work on my main PC. Are, are the two com the two other computers on the same network? Yep. And are they on the same network as your PC? Yep. Interesting. Still says nil. So that works. What is in this work? What if I just throw in a good old um print one um mm -hmm. go no, no, sorry um, os dot get wd that's a function so build it again. Um, multi-value and single-value comp. So that's unfortunate. Let's see, this is anti variable. Uh, current working directory is equal, uh, and nil is equal to os dot get working directory as the a function all right guys i am back time to try use the other computer am i right <sighs> why like this lc okay there you go Oh, both Mu6 and Rhythm are both verified bots. Yeah. Interesting. How long before Alci bot gets verified, huh? Um, I actually put in an application because I hit 75 servers. Why are you in 75 servers? 
Um, basically, I put it in a ton of advertising servers. Ah, uh, so you know how much fake servers? Not really. Go SRC. So let's see. Oh, I didn't pass through a database. Okay, okay, okay. That's why. If I open it in Chrome, it's a pain to me. Wow, that's a pretty nice, uh, nice, um, AFK screen. What? Well, why? <laughs> yeah, I know. I mean, it's not bad. <laughs> Is it still running on the AFK screen? No. Chat slash 2D, 2D, 1D, 2D. Uh, please show it in a config file. Could you, my good sir? Um, that's not it. Great, couldn't connect. My favorite when you can't when you can't connect. Isn't that right? Yep. Very nice when it can't connect. Let's see, um Docker passport from local machine to container. Okay. What are you doing? It is what? I said hi in my chat. What do you want? No, sorry. I'm talking about my, uh, the thing I'm looking at. Okay. I don't know why. You're just being extremely stupid. I hate this with, like, a burning passion. You mean JavaScript? Yes. Did any expert tell you that? <laughs> Here, one second, guys. Hmm. How to copy files from local machine to your Docker container. Okay. Uh, let's see. Add a moment to um. <laughs> what is this thing going on about? Let's see, um, docker access host port from container. I'm running docker container, but we can access host services using IP address with docker zero address. 
And then it's the last one. This will be your default route. Place that I think it is. That's not helpful at all. <sighs> Jeez, LC, your stream is a mess. Yeah, my oh, is that did that fix it? Um. Oh, is publish what I want? One. Docker publish port. The difference between expose and publish. Basically, the object is neither has to find exposed nor feet, only flows. Hmm. This is super frustrating. In theory, what I should do, do is just what I should be doing is just install Postgres internally. But that's something like a super big pain, and I don't really feel like doing that. Mm -hmm. And that would make it really difficult for me to do what I want later on. So I don't know what to do. It's a gateway approach, that sounds frustrating. This is host database from a dock container. Oh, host docker internal is what it should be using apparently. So let's just try changing my config.yaml. Yaml. Yaml. I don't know why I use YML, it's just kind of what it is. And it works, so 
Yeah. Excuse it works, man. I never checked is that it actually is reading the config correctly. Hey, get in. Like, it could just be using defaults and just not telling me. Wait, never mind. Could it kind of suck? Let's how this work. Oh, this looks interesting. Um. Oh, so you're saying something can hear you? Uh, it can hear, like I, whispers of your voice. I found something interesting. What What do you find? Um, chat included in the video and multiple cameras for video. Nice. I can change anything. This is your turn nil. Like it should never do that. Docker ps dash a sudo. Oh crap. Uh Docker RM all containers. Coderwall.com, sure. All right, let's do try building again. Then, um, run. Did I do anything? Nope. Okay, well, I'm gonna head out. Alright. I unfortunately did not fix Docker. Well, I guess we can fix that tomorrow. But, it's not the more time as I have, and, I mean, that's kind of what we're stuck with. Alright. So, anyway. See ya. I'm gonna end the stream. Um, project is in the description. And I'll work on tonight probably. So you might see commits if you try to get up. Alright. Mm. Or you might not. Who knows? No one knows. Well, let's in the future in that case you could figure it out. If you can be bothered. Yeah. Just understand if you wouldn't be. Why? Say we'll preview. Huh. Alright, I'm gonna turn off my that. camera for a second, guys. Alright. Alright. Let's see ya. I guess I'm going to end the stream here now, too. Uh, thanks for right. watching. I'll stream later tonight or tomorrow. Um, and yeah, see ya. Make sure you end the stream.